Hey guys, I have something special planned for you today. I'm going to teach you how to rip encrypted DVDs. Now, you may be thinking, Nixie, this is not allowed in the U.S., and you're exactly right. If you are from the U.S. and you are attempting to do this, you will be breaking the DMCA uh, government act, so don't do it. That's very bad. This is for you guys who are outside of the U.S. and want to uh, rip your encrypted DVDs. And you can do that by a uh, software library called LibDVD CSS. Yes, it's a mouthful. LibDVD CSS is the one thing that you'll need to get started. And I actually created a video on how to get all your codecs, including the software library, which LibDVD CSS is there to help you access and unscramble your encrypted DVDs. And at least with Ubuntu, it's always a good idea to go to the Metabuntu community documentation. So you make sure you have all that you need, including the LIB DVD CSS. Because you can't leave home without it. Go ahead and open your terminal. And with sudo aptitude, we will install all the necessary libraries to start ripping DVDs. And I type slow anyway, but if I'm going too fast, don't worry, the pause button is your best friend. And I'm still working out the zoom kink, so yes, CSS2. <laughs> Here's where you install your DVD ripper, so sudo aptitude install DVD ripper of your choice, which mine is Thoggin. And I've also heard good things about Handbrake, which is another DVD ripper, and it also has a GUI, much like Thoggin. And in some cases, you can actually rip DVDs without installing LIB DVD CSS, but I'm not sure how consistent that is. So it's always a good idea to install it, as, along with having all your codecs. So this is Thoggin, successfully installed, but I am not going to press rip because that would break the encryption and make me a bad pirate. Arr. Yay, you've made it. So you used Aptitude to install all your packages, including Thoggin, and Thoggin is what you're going to use. You're going to throw your DVD in there and run Thoggin, and it's going to rip your DVD automatically to, I believe it's OGM format, which is like OG media format. You can find it easily with codecs installed and uh, again I have a video that will help you with codecs because they're not as scary as you think they are and yeah that's pretty much it I will teach you guys how to burn a DVD sooner than later and again you're not from the US so uh, sayonara das vidanya and I'll catch you guys later